All right, guys. I just bought this Altel TPM S scanner. I was having trouble with my tire pressure. It wasn't showing. And if you're having that trouble, I'm gonna show you how to figure that out. All right, I purchased this on Amazon. Maxi TPMS. I believe this is the T TS408. Show you how this works. Pretty cool. Check your sensors and all that. As soon as you turn it on, go to TPMS. You want to pick your vehicle. You got a Chevy Malibu 2016. If you see here, there's two of them. One of the 315 on the 433. Now this all depends on what kind of sensors you have in. I got 433. So I'm gonna show you how to relearn your TPMS. All right, first thing you do on the Chevy Malibu, you wanna hold this check mark. Just hold it in for about five seconds. And then the car will ask you to relearn. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click yes. You hear the car beep. Let's go check it out real quick. All right. When the car beeps, you will notice one light is on. So what you want to do on the scanner? You want to just click that scanner. Scan all sensors. Clear the codes I had. We'll see this. I'm gonna hold this little button right here to check the sensor. And go right up to the tire where the stem is. And then within seconds, you heard the horn beep. It should show the PSI. And when you go around, you gonna notice the next light is on. So you're gonna do the same thing. Go around the car in this way. Left front, right front. Right rear, left rear. You should go around this whole car. And it should show lights on every corner. And that's how you know what you want to do next. And when you finish it, you notice the car will be twice. After you do that, you should get that little annoying light off your dash. A little tire pressure light and then it should show you your tire psi now i was having trouble where it wasn't working before this because i had the wrong sensors in my car couldn't communicate with the sensors because i had 315s in but then i figured out my i found out my factory ones had 433 because i used the scanner and when you scan them you could do a lot where you could check the like what kind of sensors they are like here, and you could go more into depth. It gives you the ID, everything. This is a pretty cool scan tool. There's way better ones out there. I only bought this because I was trying to figure out this problem. But if you can't afford this, I paid 150 for this. If you can't afford this, they also have one of these. They don't show you no information, but this works just as well. Same process. You hold the button and it beeps all the way around. It just doesn't show any information or nothing, but as long as you have the right scan tool and the right sensors for your car, it should work. Now this is for relearning. This is not for activating or waking up the sensors. And you might wanna look into that because that is a whole different process. But this works just as fine. This is only 10 bucks. On the dealership website, they're selling like the, the original one for 80 bucks. And it's the same exact thing. They both work at just as fine. This is 10 bucks on Amazon. Like I said, this is 150. There's cheaper ones and there's way more expensive ones. I just bought this because I figured this was, I just wanted to kind of get into this and just to see more of a depth. There are even more ones that you can plug into the ODPE port and you can actually like communicate with the car if you're in, like trying to activate or wake new sensors. But this one works just fine for me said you can see everything and it gets that annoying little light off your car like i said
says this is pretty cool but that's about it I will bring up some more videos in the future but thanks for watching